facilitation impact awards are a great opportunity for clients and facilitators to reflect on what they've achieved. Even better than that is when clients and facilitators talk about what they want to achieve before they start the project. This helps them to quantify the measures of success that will help them nominate for an award. The first thing to do is to get the Facilitation Impact Award guidelines. Have a look at the scoring framework and the sorts of things that evaluators will be looking for. We also run information sessions and we publicise when they'll be on and I really encourage you to attend one of those so that you can ask your questions about how do we measure the impact of facilitation. The peer evaluation process is IAF members evaluating the submissions. Each submission is evaluated by three evaluators. They score these submissions independently and then we ask them to compare scores. If there's a widespread in the scores, we ask them to talk about their scores. They're the Facilitation Impact Awards, so it's not surprising that 55 points out of the 100 that are available are about impact. There are three elements here. The first one is quantified results. These are the measures of success that we're looking for that demonstrate the change. The second one is qualitative results. These are what people said or noticed about what was achieved, the impact from their perspective. The third part is about the extent to which the organisation was impacted or the number of people in the organisation involved. We also look for evidence of how the facilitator practised the IAF core competencies. We know it can sometimes take the passage of time to measure results. Make sure you nominate at the right time. This is when you have the measures of results to clearly describe the impact of facilitation. I encourage all the facilitators out there and clients to reflect on your projects and think about nominating next year.